The potato harvest was kicking into top gear this week on Kyo's farm in North County Dublin. Kyo's began harvesting potatoes for crisping in the first week of September. But Tom explained the main potato harvest began last week. Uh, this year it was it was a very late harvest. Uh, we didn't kick off ourselves on our own farm till around the first week in September. Um, that was with our Lady Rosetta for crisping, uh, which is normally the first. Um, so uh, that harvest led right through until the first week in October. Behind me here, this is our Morris Piper. So this is actually the start of our table potato harvest, uh, which is very, very late. Normally we'd be harvesting for a store, probably second, third week in September. And here we are third week in October and uh, we're only getting going. So uh, we have a very, very late and long harvest ahead of us. The drought was a big issue on farms this year. Tom explained that parts of Kyo's farm received just two inches of rain in 12 weeks. Potato crops need at least one inch of rain per week in July and August. Was was an, was an issue. Uh, we had a very late spring, which which uh, obviously led us off to a, to a very late start. And then we had the, the potatoes really just sat in drought for about 12 weeks uh, without, without rain. This particular field we're in at the minute was the only field we actually got water to. So this field was heavily irrigated. Um, but it's only about 15% of our crops and the rest of the, the rest of the fields unfortunately didn't. And obviously that's having a, a knock on effect in yield. Supply will be down this year, but Tom is unsure by how much. Yields are down in the UK and across mainland Europe. As a result, potato prices are up. The supermarket shows that the price of potatoes has increased. Um, we can see that continuing for the rest of the year. Uh, from a supply point of view, it's difficult to say for sure because we really haven't, like we're, we're literally only at the start of the, the main crop harvest season. Uh, but once the harvest is finished, we'll be able to, to, to make a proper, a proper calculation on actually where the country stands from a supply point of view. Uh, but we're already seeing, starting to see supply issues in England, in mainland Europe. Uh, they're already contacting growers in Ireland looking for supply. Um, but we need it here in Ireland. So it's, we have a very, very difficult year ahead of us. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we, we, we need to mar supply the Irish market. The Irish consumer is what keeps the potato industry going here in Ireland. And it's important that we continue to, to supply, supply those consumers. Um, you will not see any issues around supply, probably until around April or May of this year, when stocks will start to get a little bit tight. But I, do, I don't see any long-term issues in relation to, you're always going to see potatoes on the supermarket shelves. From an export point of view, yes, I think there will be opportunities for Irish growers to export overseas. Uh, we already are, are getting uh, queries from, uh, from retailers and wholesalers uh, in countries outside of Ireland who are experiencing supply issues on, on their side. While the dry weather brought problems like secondary growth, it also made for excellent harvest conditions. In fact, Tom explained that when soil is too dry, potatoes can become bruised. Flavor point of view, we have we have amazing uh, texture uh, because of the dry summer we've had. The dry matters have, uh, uh, in the potatoes are really high, so they're really really flowery. So very very good quality potatoes this year. Um, we have some disease issues. Uh, rooster crop in particular ha has experienced a lot of secondary growth, where the potatoes actually sh shut down because of the heat, and then they started to grow again when the rain came in August. And when they started to grow again, they actually started to produce small little baby tubers again, which has led to a lot of issues around around those crops so there'll be there'll be increased losses as a result of that we're blessed in that we've had quite 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 a late autumn uh, you know weather conditions have been warm uh, we've had little rain uh, up until last week the soil was actually too dry uh, there was a big risk that you could actually bruise potatoes when you're harvesting them uh, over the last few days we've got a little bit of rain which has helped you can see there's a nice bit of moisture in the soil here behind us um, but it, it is early days and uh, you know we've been in this position many years before and rain has come and we haven't got back into the fields until February. So uh, please God, these nice weather conditions continue.